here. Let's stick to the plan. We know where the enemy is on the map, and we know our mission objective. Spend action points to move from one field to the next. Every action we take costs us time, using items, exploring and opening doors. Those damn Nazis will hear us if we make too much noise. If they hear us, they'll come looking. So keep it quiet and save your bullets. Every weapon has three extra modes, providing we have the ammunition type. Huh, you won't believe what we can do with a simple pistol. Using D12 dice, we wound and we kill, but sometimes miss. At the end of the day, no Nazi is left standing. We salvage what we can, weapons, items, ammunition, but most importantly, glory points. Each of us has our own talents and skills at our disposal. You have no idea what we're capable of. Exercise caution, boys and girls. If those Nazi scum detect us, they will raise the alarm, and you never know what's waiting for us. But one thing's for sure, more Nazis to kill, and I'm all fine with that. We've got a lot of missions ahead of us, but we will find you. You can count on that. We can't do this without you. Pledge now, and let's finish this once and for all. All right, everyone, this is Will from Mature Minded Gamers, and today Eric and I are going to be going over the Wolfenstein board game on Kickstarter. Eric, you there? Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, let's get rolling on this. It's got four days to go, $511,000 raised, 3,653 people are wanting this game, apparently. What do you think about Wolfenstein? I'm a big fan of Wolfenstein, back from the originals all the way up to even the new one that didn't get very much uh, praise from the critics, the uh, the co-op version, where you play as his daughters. Uh, I think it was called First Blood, if I remember correctly. Um, I played a little bit of co-op with that, and I, I enjoyed it. I remember the first time I played Wolfenstein, I had a 486 computer, and I had... I didn't even have a video card, and I remember my uncle installing a video card for me on my computer or excuse me, an audio card. And so the first time I actually heard them talking and the gunfire and stuff, it was just just crazy. So one of my first forays into actual gaming was this game on a 486. Well, Wolfenstein 3D, I should say. But looks like uh, we have a company called Archon Studio has actually just created a Wolfenstein board game. The miniatures actually look pretty good. Pretty good on that one. So there are a couple different pledges and options that you can do. Some uh, looks like some variation on expansions and things. So uh, do you play mini dungeon crawls? Because that's what kind of this looks like it's going to be. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I play a bunch, but I definitely have played a lot of them. Um, I mean, I don't play them actively, I guess is what I should say. It's, it's not one of my favorite games to play, but I've definitely played a good share of them. Sure. One of my favorite genres. I always I love the miniatures. So let's take a look at this. You got uh, pre-assembled pledges added, so you can actually have models pre-assembled. Hmm, interesting. So free with a hundred twenty dollar pledge. That got like looks like a lot of different uh, stretch goals here. So let's keep scrolling through the page here. Let's take a look at the game itself. About the project, one to four players, ninety to one hundred twenty minutes, fourteen and up. Supported in five languages. That's pretty cool. I get a little bit of the story. All right, tells you a little bit about the game. Yes, it will be a dungeon call. It's going to be cooperative. That's going to be awesome. For the first time in 3D again, looks like you're going to be able to have some walls. But interestingly enough, if you look at the the pledges on the right side here, it's $120 for just the game itself. And if you want the plastic terrain edition, it's $100 more. Man, I don't know to know if that'd be that's crazy. That's a lot of plastic. I think you got to be a big fan at this point, and that's my that's my that's my issue with some board games. I get you want to make them look awesome. You want them to feel like you know, like almost like you're in the video game, right? With the mm -hmm. with the board game, and that's great and all, but 
$230 for a board game that, let's be honest, if you're a board game fan, you're not going to bring to the table more than maybe, you know, 10 times, and that's if you're really into it. You think so? so I mean, can you name a game you played more than 10 times? I yeah. mean, that, that, that's a big box game like this. Oh, yeah. Be- because it's it's hard. Number one, it's hard to bring them to the table. There's almost always a bunch of setup time. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's hard to get people together. Like to to be able to do this, you want to play as many games as you can. You don't really want to spend one night playing a game that may or may not work. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I could see I could see myself really enjoying this one. I mean, because I could play it solo. So let's go over the how to play section real quick. You got action points. Your character has a handful of action points every turn. So opening doors, using items, shooting. Looks like you're using a grid system for movement. I, I do like that. It makes it easier to be able to determine where you're going to move to. Um, uses a noise system. Uh, Reichbusters did that recently with their game, by Mythic Games, where you're going to be using their, a noise system. I mean, but that's something that you had in the original Wolfenstein. You start shooting, you know, then you may have doors pop open. More Nazis come in. Was that a big deal? In that, I, I'm, I remember that kind of being a big deal in the first one. Do you? No, not really. Uh, I kind of, I kind of don't remember that. But it, again, it's been a while now. It's like you explore the castle, side quests. Do you remember? I don't even remember quests in the original. I remember just trying to find secret doors. I remember, you know, clipping a wall and just hit smashing the space bar to try to open up a door. So your quest was to kill Nazis yeah. in, the, in the video game. Loading guns, using different types of ammo. Got a unique style of dice. It's specialized D12. That's pretty cool. Secret talents. I definitely don't remember. Did the new version of Wolfenstein, did it have like unique skills in each of the characters? They, they did. Okay. Got a hazard tracker. Very similar to like the, again, I go back to Reichbusters, very similar to their alarm system they used. Oh, I do like this, the difficulty level. I remember that from the original, choosing the the baby or the... The one the pass part is the mouth, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Classic. Preview rule book. I like it when games have the, you know, a rule book preview in their Kickstarter, so that way you can you can take a look at it and see if the, the rules make sense. Because I don't know how many times I'll get a game and, you know, pop up in the rulebook to read it for the first time and be like, oh, was this, like, what is going on? This rulebook is horrible. And that's, that, I know, call me crazy, but that that's sometimes a deciding factor to me as far as not only how the game looks and how it seems like it's going to play, but how well the, 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 the book explains that information and conveys that. So eight corridors, eight rooms. That's, I'm assuming they're double-sided. Some hero cards, 62 equipment cards, 14 chess cards. That's not a lot. 20 event cards, 29. That's a lot of weapons, 29 weapons. 51 enemy cards. Heck, I only remember like three different types of enemies in the original. Blob right, so, 1, Blob 2. Right. All right, let's got the heroes. BJ is the only one that I'm aware of. Anna, Max, Set, Klaus, and Bombate. Don't know any of those. I know BJ. Most of those are from the newer games. Okay. Huh. They really don't look like they're from like the 1940s. Well, this is, you know, in the Wolfenstein world, Hitler is won World War II. And so you're getting, like, this takes place in the 1960s, I think it is. And, mm. you know, I don't know why this is. I think it's because of how advanced technology-wise that uh, the Nazis were. That when you see different shows and other propaganda, it's always very futuristic looking. And I don't know if that's why they do that that way. The bosses look awesome. This mega Hitler and a 50 millimeter base. You got an Adolf Hitler. I think this is the first time I have ever seen an Adolf Hitler mini. I you, can't. I can't recall ever seeing one before. Here, and here's the thing. Like as soon as you do that. Guess where you can't sell your game at it anymore? Germany. Germany. Yeah, and that's that's a big base. I mean, yeah. so I, I'm sure games steer away from that. 
I mean, that has to be a, you know, a factor. You got a Professor Solomon Belvey, a General Oscar von Grimm. Detail looks really good. I love the bases. I think they added some really cool detail in the bases of these models. Some drones, right. some officers, some panzer hounds. So scrolling awesome through. Soldiers, yeah. Scrolling through these models, they do, they're really nice. You're right. I can see where the price tag's coming in more now. Mm hmm. And I feel a little bit better about the price of 230 I wouldn't buy this to play it, though. I think I would honestly buy it to, to collect it. Which seems weird, I know. But it, it's really cool looking. And I it, it would be cool to get it out and show people. But I don't know if I would ever want to take time to set it up and play it. Unless I had a bunch of people who are just really into it. Hmm. Yeah, these models do look awesome. Seems like it could be a lot of fun to paint. 190 tokens. Oh, my Lanta. That was a lot of tokens. Do you think these companies are, you know, doing too many miniatures? And I mean, these games have so much. It's almost like there's just too much inside the box. You ever I mean, seen... yeah, I mean, I got that with the Fallout game. I was right. super excited for that board game. And that's kind of why I was a little bit more negative on this one. Is I love that game. I love the miniatures. I never, never bring it to the table. Well, I'm just kind of worried about, well, like Reichbusters, for example. I've got four boxes worth of stuff from the Kickstarter, and I've opened up the the you know the base game and and the, I looked at inside the Kickstarter box, but I don't even know if I'm ever actually going to get to the actual other stuff. I mean, like you said, how many times do I actually am able to get it to the table and play it? I mean, I know not everybody's the same as me and has more time to be able to to get with their buddies and play these games or, you know, maybe have a significant other they can play it with. But these doors are really cool, how they open by, you know, you can pull the top right through. That's really cool. Yeah, that is a really cool feature. I worry that these round trackers, they really, and maybe it's just the graphic they use, but they, they look really thin. And I think they need some sort of, like, art on them besides just the words hazard and round you get an expansion here called the old blood 87 cards 12 map tiles and 23 more miniatures and that's where again i mean you know they got more miniatures more miniatures more miniatures man are you gonna be able to get to all this stuff i'd see i would rather see them have give me more story give me more I, I want to see expansions that are like, okay, I, you know, I have more side quests or I have, I could use the same tiles, new layouts, new weapons to unlock, different ways to interact. I don't necessarily need like, a whole pile of new characters. I mean, having more characters, is, don't get me wrong, is, is fun because it gives you some variation in that regard. But I'd rather see them expand the game with these kind of things by having a smaller pack but just a more gameplay content does that make sense yeah and I, I totally agree with you there too i would rather see that because like you said when are you going to get to all this content well but the content isn't it doesn't even always seem like because you get 12 ma map tiles 87 cards 87 in the grand scheme of things isn't a lot i don't need the miniatures you know what i mean that's just another huge box that's going to sit on my shelf that i can't fit into the original box I would rather see having more gameplay, com like more mechanics introduced. And because you know this stuff is already designed, why not have this as already part of the base game? Why break it up into a separate expansion? Well, because board games now are giving you the Kickstarter rewards, right? Right. I think that was probably part of the decision. I mean, why would you, why would you buy just the base game? What's that, that uh, FOMO? Yeah, fear of missing out. Mm -hmm. Zombies in this one, that's pretty cool. All right, here's the terrain kit: forty nine wall parts, twenty four floor parts, seventy three parts in total. That is a lot of plastic. The detail on the walls, though, they do look pretty good. 30 millimeters tall. That could be pretty neat to be able, not only for this game, but if you're doing like a, 
like, even like an RPG where you want to kind of set up like a, a castle of some kind, not like a fan- fantasy, but more, you know, like hex or something. Right. It does look pretty cool. I, I I really feel like they captured Wolfenstein with these this art and the style of the miniatures, though. Imagine having to paint all this. That that would be a chore as well. Hopefully, you'd like to paint, or else you'd be seeing a lot of plastic. You know, All Star expansion. Get new characters, new heroes. Hmm. All right, and then down here, just some reviews that they have about the game. Pre-assembled. Yeah, because, I mean, we're going to go back up to the top of the page here because if you notice one of the things you're going to have to do, you have an option to be able to get a pre-assembled version, but you actually have to build these models. Let's see if I can find it on here. Here we go. If if you're not in a miniature building, as far as like models, building, gluing, all that stuff, then you definitely want to get that pre-assembled edition. So, like, you're not a bunch of a model, model builder. No, not at all. The, the reason they do this is so that way they can get more detail on the miniature. But for your for your standard gamer who's not a minis guy or gal, then I could definitely see you really wanting that pre-assembled version. Let's see what the price difference is going to change up to for the standard edition pre-assembled. So the pre-assembled is 135 so only 15 bucks to have everything assembled. Hmm. Why wouldn't you pay, spend the $15 more to go ahead and have it done? for you. I mean, I, I definitely would. Hmm. All right. So is this something you would back or is this something you'd pass on? Uh, I personally, I'm, I'm, I would pass on it. I mean, I like it. I love Wolfenstein. I love the models. I don't think I'd ever bring it to the table. If, I mean, if I was looking for something to, to me, this is more of a collector's item than, uh, then it would be a board game to play. Sure. I see I'm very intrigued by it. I'd really like to see how the game plays myself. I'm 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 one of those kind of people that I, I want to get it hands on and dive into it and really try it for myself. Um to to really judge it. Hmm. So I, I'm 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 intrigued. I don't know if this is really a, a buy for me. I'd like I said I'd like to play it. To give you my final thoughts, but I think unfortunately I'm going to have to pass on it as well. I think the price point just putting it a little bit too much for me out of my range. But uh, I think if you are a Wolfenstein fan and you love the games, there's no reason you should not pick this one up if you have the money. All right. So, any final thoughts for you, Eric? I agree, I agree with you completely. Like I said, collector's item for me if I had extra cash. I mean, this is definitely would be a cool game to grab, but that's the only reason. Very cool. So, all right, everybody, that was the Wolfenstein board game from Archon Studio Kickstarter preview from the Mature Minded Gamers. Be sure to check out all of our other great content on MatureMindedGamers.com. We do board games, video games, and much more. And until next time, we'll see you at the table. <laughs>